Hey, what's going on YouTube? I know it's only been a week since I last posted this tank, um, but I had some good news to share and uh, I also got a few new things. So I figured I'd just do a last update on this 20 gallon. This will be the last update on this tank because I actually ordered a, I believe it's from Innovative Marine, I ordered a 40 long. So that's gonna be coming in within the next probably week because they're only two hours away from me and it shipped yesterday. So I will be upgrading this tank to a 40 gallon um, and I'll tell you kind of the reasons I did that. Uh, corals, I'm absolutely addicted to corals. You can see I've, I've added more corals since last video. I have this gold uh, hammer along with a peach hammer and then my regular hammer. Um, he's not doing the best, but he was kind of already on his way out. So I'm hoping he'll recover and made myself like a little hammer garden right here. As well as I picked up this torch coral absolutely beautiful i want i kind of want to do like a lime green torch or maybe eventually even like a dragon soul or something like that but i wanted to test how torches would do in my tank first with just a regular one before i go crazy and then i also picked up this frag rack super nice got some of my corals on there given uh, more space on the sand bed these zoas right here in the back i picked them up like a week week and a half ago and they've just not done good. I'm not sure. Um, Zoa's just, in my 20 gallon tanks, every 20 gallon tank I've ever had, it seems like Zoa's don't do well, but it did good in my 40. I'm not sure why it's not opening up, but certain corals do good in certain tanks, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure. And then I also went to Worldwide Corals and I picked up this beautiful Florida Recordia back there who slid down the rock. I need to super glue him down. Um, probably will but i'm gonna wait until i get the 40 gallon just to see how things go and then i picked up this a can from worldwide corals too for like i think he was like 19 dollars um so i got a really good deal on a really vibrant a can but the main reason i'm upgrading well there's two reasons one uh, i want more corals i'm absolutely addicted to the corals and i think everybody in this hobby kind of falls in love with it for the fish and then stays in it for the corals at least that's me I'm obsessed with corals. I love getting new corals. Um, the fish are pretty too, but I'm a coral enthusiast and the fish are just the side piece. <laughs> um, as well as I have a flatworm infestation in here and that is from not dipping my corals. I do dip them now, but um, unfortunately the damage is already done. I've used flatworm X. It continues to just not kill them. It'll kill a crap ton of them and then within a couple days or whatever their population is completely back to normal so i'm struggling with those and i was looking at fish to get to help with that you know you have a six line wrasse but i've never had luck with a six line wrasse so i didn't really want to get him um yellow chorus wrasse thought about it and i was like no um and then i heard about the springery damsel and Every video I've watched, every forum I've read talks about how good they are at removing flatworms and they're more peaceful for the damsel family. So I ordered one of those and that'll be in here Wednesday. So that led to me having four fish in this tank. Now I was like, well, I can leave him in here until, um, until the problem is gone and then I can rehome him. But I'd, I'd like to have him for preventative measures. Um, just in case maybe the dip doesn't kill something or a flatworm does get in here. So with that being said, I was looking at um, fish tanks. I was thinking my buddy that's doing this hobby with me, he's doing a Fluval 13.5 right now. And he's upgrading to at least a 40. He's possibly looking at a 70 gallon. Uh, I'm not really interested in a tank that big right now. 40 gallon I've already had, but I didn't really want to do the whole 40 gallon breeder route with the whole hang on the back. I'm tired of doing hang on the back. Um, so I was looking at bulk reef supply and they had an innovative Marine 40 long with the rear something built in and I purchased that. So that'll be here, like I said, really soon. And then everything from this tank will be going into that tank minus the sand. I'm not going to be transferring any of the sand over. I've heard some horror stories, so that will not be coming over. Um, but I will catch you guys up when I, when I upgrade the tank. Uh, so this is the last update on the 20 long. So. Thank you guys for checking out the build. Catch you later. Peace.